Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, and we've just come back from the dump. And this is the first time that we have ever been to the dump where we actually came home with less than we took. But that less than we took is still probably worth, well, we know it's worth more than what we took. Because what we took was garbage rubbish trash and look at some of the things we got here for number one look at this box this is a box of six inch steel fascia it's white it's brand new in the box never been opened look at that a whole box full of it from the dump then we have this rack with neat vintage uh, cassettes like the Four Seasons uh, the Who Who the Beatles Derek and the Dominoes I don't know who they are a lot of these ones aren't ones I care for like Led Zeppelin although they're from my time zone but like this the Ventures and the Beach Boys and uh, oh the Steve Miller band and yeah there's another Beach Boys one oh there's two Beach Boys ones right there look at that can't get much better than that for free and the rack is great and we have two thermometers and they appear to be pretty accurate well I don't know Chad I don't think they're too accurate because one of them says 62 and the other one says 56 so one of them obviously is not working sounds like minnesota weatherman yeah. Says 62, the other says 56. yeah and then we have this box full of stuff down in here and uh this is fiberglass resin polymer coating resin this is the stuff I use to uh, make a pond on my railroad. You know, all kinds of good stuff and stain and urethane, you know, wood stain, plenty of it in it. I got this mainly for the spray bottle. And then we have a, uh, a weather station here. The thermometer says 66, so we know that one of those is working right. And the barometer, yep, it's dropping uh, because we have rain coming, and it's starting to rain right now. And the humidity meter, not sure. They almost never work. And this whole box full of dishes, Corel wear, you know, from back in the 70s. Not sure what it'll all get used for. Find something. But here is the piece de resistance right here. This is a 1970s era Schwinn Stingray. Complete. The tires aren't even dry rotted. They do need to be pumped up and it needs to be cleaned a little bit. Uh, but look at those ape hangers on there. Look at that banana seat. I'm telling you, and, and I mean, we haven't cleaned it up yet, but look at this thing. The only thing on the seat is this one little doofliki right here. Oh, and I see another one there. But other than that, it's in pretty pristine condition. I mean, a little elbow grease in this fair lady. Yep, that's what it's called, a fair lady. This fair lady would be awesome. Totally awesome. Yeah. Ain't even got a hundred miles on them tires. Look at that. So, there you have it. And, and this thing here, we just got this for the scrap metal value. But, uh, yeah. Not even sure what it is. Probably a rack for... Like a magazine rack or something. But that will be it scrapped. So, that's our haul for today. The bicycle was the best deal of them all, I think. 
So until next time, this is George. Oh, wait a minute. Ha, we stopped at a yard sale on our way back too. And look what George picked up. Huh? Is that cool or what? 50 cents, can't go wrong with that. Thanks for watching, guys and gals. Here's looking at you. Bye now.